Hello, there's a lot of um, things coming out at the moment. Uh, the uh, about Prince Andrew, of course. Um, not least that he he emerges from this um, uh, from this scandal as not a particularly nice man, um, no matter what his former wife claims. Um, what we learn about him is not attractive, whether he is guilty or innocent of the um, of the attack on. Virginia Jeffrey, um, and, uh, and 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 his efforts to rehabilitate himself and to um, return to public life seem to me to be futile. So today we're learning that um, Labour M MP Andy McDonald um, wasn't there an actress? Isn't there an actress? No. Anyway, uh, plans to use parliamentary privilege to find out um, if the Queen is planning to use taxpayers' money, the sovereign grants, the civil list, to settle Prince Andrew's £12 million case with Virginia Jeffrey. Um, so far, the Queen, we know, has paid up £2 million um, to meet that bill, and Prince Charles and the Queen um, are planning to help Prince Andrew put the matter to bed. Um, now, apparently... Prince Andrew still imagines that there's a further public role available to him. Uh, I think he's living in cloud cuckoo land. I think, um, frankly, he's, uh, he's, he, he's living with the fairies there. Um, it's absurd. And, uh, and, and really, if he were the man of honour that he claims, he would now um, put aside uh, his title of Duke of York, or at least he would say he would not use it, and... Um, and, and he would step aside from being a councillor of state. Uh, that would be the honourable thing now to do. He shouldn't be waiting for his mother to strip him of further uh, titles. Um, but there is a growing group of voices, uh, which I think is not going to be quiet. It's, it, it's, going, to, it's going to see the payout as, um, as the subject to uh, focus on now. And, and I think rightly so. You know, we want a little bit of transparency, um, but, um, but, but at the same time, I think it's probably time for this story to uh, quietly move to one side and, um, you know, for Virginia Jeffrey to uh, be able to, um, to, to put her life back together uh, after being thrown into the media um, in such a way. It's not easy. Um, there's a... There's a lady called uh, Dr. Charlotte Proudman, I think, in Cambridge University. She's a, uh, she's a barrister. And um, she says uh, she wants to ensure that not a single penny of parliamentary, uh, of, of public money, um, should be used on this settlement, um, which is effectively buying a victim's silence and buying Andrew's way out of a civil trial. I mean, she's, she's right. Um... She's 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 absolutely right. Uh, but I don't I don't know really whether um, it's appropriate now for the Queen to be forced to comment on um, the way the way she and Prince Charles are meeting this bill. Um, I think um, I I I think a line probably should now be drawn. It's interesting that this comes at a time when there is a lot of chatter about whether the picture of um, Prince Andrew and. Uh, uh, Virginia Jeffrey, um, with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell standing behind them, whether this picture is a fake. Uh, 2015 email from Ghislaine Maxwell says it looks real. I think it is. But then when you look at a picture and you're in it, you look at the picture of you. You don't tend to look particularly at anybody else in the picture. And that picture of Ghislaine Maxwell is genuine. Um, and part of the reason the... Um, the picture of uh, Andrew and um, Virginia Giffrey looks fake, is because um, there is that genuine picture of Ghislaine Maxwell. And she's standing uh, by a doorway, and Andrew and um, uh, Giffrey are, are, are standing in front of her, so slightly blocking her. Uh, so it would be very difficult to fake what I think is the original photograph. You'd have to re rework um, Maxwell's body. Uh, there's also a photograph 
of Virginia Giffrey on her own in exactly the pose uh, that she adopts with Prince Andrew. Uh, it is very, very suspicious. Now, the fact that there is a photograph which I think probably will emerge as a fake doesn't mean that the case itself is fake. In the same way as uh, part of Prince Andrew's defence is that he, uh, is this incredible claim that he can't sweat. Um, incredible and, I think, untrue. Uh, but the fact that that claim was made doesn't mean that his defence in itself, um, th th that he isn't innocent. Uh, there may be many reasons why he's trying to cover up the story. Many reasons. Um, now, would these, would these two bizarre um, issues come further to light if there were a proper trial? Maybe, but it's not a... It's not a criminal trial, so the level of the level of proof is much lower uh, than it would be, um, and uh, so maybe maybe these issues wouldn't be fully explored. Uh, I think I think they will eventually come out. I think we will eventually learn, but it may take many many years. If we go back again to the Cottingley fairies, um. Elsie claimed for years and years that the photos were real. Uh, at one point she said that they were figments of our imagination, sort of projected onto the film. Um, they're, they're figments of our imagination, and that's what I'm standing on, um, she said. Uh, but further investigations in the 1970s, shortly after I discovered about, about these pictures as a little boy, um, I, I thought they were fascinating. Um, but further investigations at the time, I think on television, using very early computer technology, established that there were strings um, in the photographs and, and further inconsistencies. Uh, so that by 1985, there was very little choice but to, um, but, but to confess. And the two ladies um, admitted the deception in the early 80s. Um, and, and explained that, that they kept up this deceit for so long because they'd been embarrassed after duping Arthur Conan Doyle, the great Arthur Conan Doyle, he um, of, uh, of Sherlock Holmes fame. Um, I mean, it, 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 in itself, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting story. Uh, and, 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 and of course, it, uh, it then spawned the 1997 charming film Fairy Tale. Um, I think uh, this, uh, th this, this story about um, Virginia Jeffrey and Prince Andrew will go on and on and on for a long time, and there will be a lot of speculation. Uh, what I hope the story has done now is to highlight the, the need for support for um, victims of abuse. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and I think... Um, Virginia Jeffrey definitely is somebody who didn't have the support that she needed, and uh, and that I think we should um, uh, we we should look upon with regret as a society. Um, you know, people who have been abused need need our support, and um, and, and 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 a criminal trial um, is just one part of that support. So I hope. I hope, um, you know, whatever, whatever the um, uh, reality uh, lies behind this story, I, I, I hope the, the, the money that she is now getting will, will, will go some way towards um, repairing some of the damage. And I hope that um, her charity, her charity will promote the need for um, supporting people who are victims of abuse. Um, and uh, this is a very, uh, a very, a very necessary, very necessary job. So um, anyway, on that slightly um, sombre note, um, do follow the channel, uh, do ring the bell, and I look forward to talking to you all a little bit later. And any thoughts you've got on this subject, um, please put them below. Thank you.